paddlers competing in the annual canoe race from Molokai to Oahu collided head on with an early season northwest swell yesterday. The result 10 canoes swamped, one damaged, and one paddler injured. As KITV4's Moana Kiali Nabarro reports, as many paddlers say the challenge actually empowered them. This video tells it all. A large wave swamps this crew as it headed to the starting line outside Haleolono Harbor on Molokai's southwest side. I've never seen the women's race with that closed out conditions, but I always know that it could be like that, and it could be like that in the channel, you know. It's, the ocean controls everything. Veteran paddler Carleen Ornelas steered for Kailua Canoe Club's 50s division and is one of the race organizers. She said her crew was among 72 that braved rough conditions just to start the race. We all kind of tangled up. We who lead, we got back up and plowed through. A strong current added to the challenge. One crew pulled out of the race after its canoe was damaged by a wave. A 30-year-old woman from Lanikai Canoe Club was taken to Molokai General Hospital. Competitors say they entered the race knowing the risks. At the discretion of their coach, if it is too rough, the coach can have, have the decision to either pull the crew from racing or going and giving them the green, green light. Participants said race organizers cautioned paddlers about rough conditions. Organizers said warnings issued by the Coast Guard are grounds for canceling the race. The Coast Guard told the committee not to have the race. The committee would not have the race. <laughs> Crews paddled in to the Waikiki finish line, thrilled and relieved. It was hard to pick up on swells and we just struggled but we you know we, we fought through it rough conditions resulted in slower finish times team Bradley of Maui took first place 45 minutes slower than last year's winner Moani K. Alan Navarro KITV 4 News the woman who was hospitalized has been released and flew home to Oahu last night